So this is my Intel Atom server, home server. Um, it runs on a 1.8 GHz dual-core processor, uh, Intel Atom of course. It's got 2 GB RAM and a 320 GB spinning drive inside. Um, originally this didn't have this fan, obviously this is something I added. Um, it's passively cooled, which means that inside here there's a thick aluminium bar that goes down here and it's about that chunky. It pushes against the chip and uh, takes the heat away and uses the case as kind of a heat sink. So when the air goes over the case it cools down the whole unit. Um, I added this fan because you know we're in the Philippines and the heat is immense. This thing got very hot. So um, when I took this apart, opened it up, I saw that there's a fan header on the inside for a regular 12 volt fan. So um, I thought, well, I'll just add this. You can see that I did drill some additional holes. Um, it's not the neatest job ever, and I could probably do it cleaning this fan actually. But um, it does the job, and you know it adds 1.5 watts of power. That's how much this fan takes to run, but it does cool this down very well. Um, so let's see what ports we've got. We've got gigabit Ethernet, very fast. I've tested the speed, it is true. Um, four USB 2 ports, uh, speakers, microphone. There's a hole here for an optional wireless LAN uh, module, which I don't have. VGA out. Um, on the front, we've got two more USB ports, microphone, headphones and then the power button. Um, out of the box this uses around 15 watts of power um, but now I've added this fan it's using around 16.5. If you were to replace the spinning disk that's inside with something like an SSD or a CF to SATA or a USB or uh, even an SD card then you'd probably cut 4 or 5 watts off the power usage. Um, on standby it uses 1.5 watts which seems a little bit higher but doesn't really bother me because I'm going to be running it 24-7 anyway so it doesn't matter what the standby usage is. little power adapter here, it's um, let's see, 12 volt 3 amp so it could potentially use up to around 30-35 watts but it doesn't. Um, what else have we got going on? I think that's it, so uh, let's boot her up, turn her on. You see that the power usage spikes a little bit when you first turn it on and then it will settle back down to around 16.5. I'm running Ubuntu 12.10 on this, server edition, so, um, so there's no graphical interface. Um, I have it download my torrents overnight, it acts as a Samba share. Uh, web server and some development stuff for uh, for work purposes. Um, basically, it just does everything and it's, it just handles everything you throw at it. It's a really strong little server. Um, and such low power usage, that, you know, I don't have to worry about leaving it running 24 7. Um, got a Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive attached. Um, that uses around 8 to 10 watts, so nearly as much as this whole server. Uh, I actually had to take this apart, remove the hard drive, mount it in a desktop uh, and reflash the firmware to remove the um, power saving features because they were just causing such a nightmare in Linux, always unmounting, spinning down, parking the heads, it was just a right pain. Um, so I fixed that issue. That's just over USB to this. Um, so we see it's using around 16.5 watts um, and it will pretty much stay there now around that figure. Um, and this doesn't get too hot now that I've got this fan on here. It does still warm up a little bit, um, but it is drawing, you know, cool air in here and here, and then sucking out the uh, the hot air. So it creates a nice little effect. Um, as a home server, I would definitely recommend it. It's very powerful. Um, like I say, it's not like a super duper gaming machine or anything like that. But as a server, it's very very capable. Um, dual core, 1.8 gigahertz Intel Atom. Uh, says here designed for ultra thin laptops. Um, I've tried running a netbook as a home server and it ran for about three days before it just broke basically, it won't power up anymore. They're just not designed to be left on 24 7 those netbooks. Um, I don't know what happened but it just won't power up anymore. The charger's okay, I've checked the charger. Uh, but the netbook's just dead, so don't recommend it. Just spend £150 on one of these. They are designed to run long term. Um, add a fan if you want, like me, just for extra stability. And uh, yeah, very much recommend these little Intel Atom dual core.
computers.